you know going into an RV bathroom for the first time can be a little scary when you look down and you see a toilet that doesn't resemble anything you've ever seen before this thing has no tank it doesn't have a handle on the tank you may have a push button or a foot valve depending on the model you just don't know <laughs> So let me give you some family friendly tips on how to properly use an RV toilet. All right, I finally got that date with Tammy. <laughs> I know I've been looking forward to this for a long time. I got her some turtles. I bet she loves them. Well, let's go see if she's home. Who could that be? Can I help you? Yes, sir. It's Danny Holden. Yeah, she's in the room getting ready. You brought her some turtles. You brought what? Son, don't you know Tammy is addicted to sugar? She can't have it. She can't smell it. She can't taste it. She's not allowed to have it or be anywhere around it. Now you got to take that bag of stuff and get it in this bathroom and flush it down the toilet. But don't let her know. She can't see that you had it in here. She can't smell that you had it in here. Son, you got to make it look like it never happened. Now get in here. Golly. No school. Oh man, did I ever goof up. Here I am at my girlfriend's house getting ready to pick her up. I brought her chocolate. She can't have it. How am I going to get rid of this stuff? I'm in a bathroom. I've never seen a toilet like this before. There's no tank on the back. There's no handle to flush anything with. If I goof this up, I'm going to have chocolate swirly marks all down inside the, the bowl. Then she's really going to be mad. God. Well, here we are in the nightmare that some people call an RV toilet. This one's made by Dometic. It's, a, I believe, a 310 porcelain bowl, plastic seat, foot valve. You hold the uh, foot valve down partially and it fills the bowl. You depress the foot valve fully and it opens the valve and lets everything out of the inside of the container. Boom. Just like that. Whenever you use this thing, you do not want to flush it slowly. Push it all the way down. I mean, don't stomp on it and break it. It's pretty easy. Look, one finger. Okay? Now, are you putting uh, a soda pop in there? Then you don't have to add any water. When you get done dumping your soda pop in there, let it out. If you're putting some turtles in there, here's what you do. Depress the foot valve partially to add some water. That ought to be plenty. Now, if you go dumping your turtles in there right now, you're probably going to leave a chocolatey swirly mess in the bottom of the toilet. When, the, when you close the valve, when you push the foot down and, and open that valve rather, you're probably going to smear chocolate all over that plate down there. One way to eliminate that is put some paper in the bowl before you put your chocolates in there. Like so. Now, As we all know, 
chocolate when it gets warm it'll melt a little bit and get on your fingers right remember that later so we're gonna put our turtles in the bowl I can't eat these not on camera anyway when we get done putting our turtles in the bowl you're gonna wipe your fingers off your fingers off and put that in the bowl now you're all done depress the valve all the way down the foot valve depress it all the way down quickly the whole thing falls out the floor basically falls out from under all the turtles and they go down the drain pipe nothing to worry about it's all gone there's no swirly marks to recap add water add toilet paper add turtles wipe your fingers off and depress the foot valve all the way down simple as that have a nice day and please subscribe whatever side it's on hit the little bell like it comment <laughs> all that stuff i'd appreciate it oh and don't eat the turtles. <laughs>